from General Robert E. Lee. After four years of arduous service, marked by unsurpassed courage and fortitude, the Army of Northern Virginia has been compelled to yield to overwhelming numbers and resources. I need not tell the brave survivors of so many hard-fought battles who remain steadfast to the last that I have consented to this result from no mistrust of them, but feeling that valor and devotion could accomplish nothing that could compensate for the loss that must attend the continuance of the contest. I determined to avoid the useless sacrifice of those whose past services have endeared them to their countrymen. You will take with you the satisfaction that proceeds from the consciousness of duty faithfully performed. And I earnestly pray that a merciful God... Come on, Mama. Instead of slaving behind this table. Come on, just one dance. No, one dance. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Daddy Chicken George Moe ain't never said nothing in his whole life he don't mean. You hear me, Bob? Just asking, Mama. Now, I don't want to hear no more about leaving. Because ain't nobody going nowhere till my man come back. We is a family. And we is going to stay a family. Still all my family, Ma? Oh, Martha, I mean, we sure would love to throw our lot in with you folks. With new owners, of course. Won't you? Mm-hmm. 
This here's a bad nigger. So you won't make any mistakes. Because you ain't never going to leave here. Never. All right, get out of it. before Chicken George. And he enjoyed life among his children and his grandchildren until he died at the ripe old age of 83. The blacksmith Tom and his talented Irene prospered. Their youngest daughter, Cynthia, grew up and married a tall, quiet black man named Will Palmer, who came to own the town's lumber mill. The Palmers had a daughter named Bertha, who attended Lane College where she met and married Simon Alexander Haley. In 1921, the Haley's welcomed a son, the seventh generation descendant of Kuta Kente. That boy was me, Alex Haley. And I never forgot those stories which my grandmother Cynthia told me. And in 19...